origins of computers. So computers first began as mechanical calculators, automated mechanical calculators. The earliest computing devices were such mechanical calculators uh, and were developed as early as 1623. So now granted, this is a very, this is a uh, Western view, right? And I'll kind of make some jokes later about that when talking about the inventors of these technologies. Uh, Schickard's calculator had a series of interlocking gears. Each of the 10 spokes on a gear represented a digit. Every time a gear completed a full circle, he moved the next gear one notch to the left to carry the one. So in this Schickard's, Schickard's calculator here. So essentially a kind of automated process for doing some kind of uh, calculation or mathematical operation. In 1642, a French named Frenchman named Blaise Pascal developed the Pascaline, which is pictured over here. It's a mechanical device that could be used to perform basic arithmetic. So uh, during the Renaissance, we have these machines that are being developed that actually can do mathematical operations just with some initial uh, input from the user. And this is the Western. This is the Western view too. Of course, it's correct. These are uh, the, the individuals, but here I'm just going to focus mostly on a Western view. In 1890, Herman Hollerith won the U.S. Census Bureau's competition to find a way to tabulate the census. Tabulate meaning kind of create the calculations and the categories for counting. And Hollerith won the competition with a design for an electronic punched card tabulating device. And I think that's actually this one over here, which is this, the same one over here and this, this one over here. The device used cards with designated areas representing data fields, such as nationality, so once punched, the cards were fed into a reader that used an array of metal rods to electronically read data from the cards, tabulate the results, and display them on a series of dials. Uh, so the dials here, and then you can see, you know, how many people are from one place, how many people are from Kentucky, how many people are from Missouri, and so on. Hollerith incorporated the tabulating machine company in 1896. In 1924, the name was changed to International Business Machines, better known now, of course, as IBM. So they've been around for a while. Here's a picture of Harvard Mark One computer 1944. I think this one is the one that was in Harvard. Uh, the Harvard University, a lot of the computers were used in university settings because of the research uh, and the scientists located in universities. NEAC's first programmers were a team of six women, and NEAC was the first programmable electronic general purpose digital computer, uh, which was completed in 1945. Now, once again, I'm sure there's many contenders for the first programmable electronic gen general purpose digital computer, which is the computers we use nowadays, general purpose digital computers, programmable and electronic. This is one of them. Um, in the 1970s, many hobbyists built their own computer systems based on integrated circuit and microprocessor technologies. The Mark 8 and the MITS Altair were some of the first personal computers to be developed. This is a picture of uh, one of them here. So this is kind of what they looked like, the computers were looking like in the 70s. The Altair was sold as a kid for 395. It had no keyboard, no monitor, and no permanent storage device. So I don't really know what they were doing with this, but they were being developed and kind of played with at this time, which of course helped the development of the computer. And in 1976, Apple Computer Company was founded by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. Apple released several computers during the 1970s and 1980s, including Apple I. Um, and I think Apple was kind of became before IBM uh, and um, certainly in Microsoft, because Microsoft are more software. So I think Apple won the um, personal computer invention, but they were pretty close. They were both working on it, both IBM and Apple. Four uh, K, K bytes of RAM, uh, the Apple to 16 K bytes of RAM. Nowadays we are at eight gigabytes and more. So that's eight, uh, that's half a million, half a million times more. 16, we totally have 16 K bytes. So that's one million times faster. And if you want to know what a million times faster is, just imagine if your salary was multiplied by 1 million, and that's the salary you made, how much of a difference that would make. These are astronomical numbers. Um, so it's pretty amazing. 
1981, IBM began marketing what it called a personal computer or PC, um, similar to the uh, first Apple computer. The operating system was the PC DOS and was created by a young entrepreneur named Bill Gates that formed the Microsoft and the Microsoft is the one that developed the Windows operating system. So they were working, Microsoft was working initially on the uh, software side and the operating system. And of course, nowadays we have the super fast and advanced machines, uh, both handheld laptop and other supercomputers that we have covered in this class with technologies that are like 1 million times faster uh, than previous uh, technologies than before, which is quite amazing. That's it. See you next time.